Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood of Farmer Raznak and we're here for another one of those Facebook finds. That's right, this is a mod I found over on a Facebook, over on Diesel Division Customs Facebook page. The link will be down in the description. That's right, Diesel Division Customs on Facebook. So uh, let's just let's just get into looking at the mod. Alt this is a Ford F250, a 1970 Ford F250 uh, for PC only. That's right, folks. Sorry, but all of these mods are PC only. I, I highly, highly doubt that uh, this will be moved forward into uh, Farming Simulator 22 on console because, in fact, when it loads up, there's an actual warning that says. Ford is not a recognized brand, please change to Lizard. There's actually a warning in the log that says that. So I'm gonna say that the base game will not take Ford vehicles. I don't see Ford vehicles coming to console. So, so very sorry. I just, I just don't see that. So again, like most of our Facebook finds, these are all for uh, PC only. Now, Tons of options on this thing. This thing is amazing. This thing has tons and tons of options and a one small problem. As for the log, I really didn't see any. Now I do. <laughs> Initially, I didn't see any issues in the log, but now that I've sat here for a minute, we apparently we do. So it looks like in the log, we have uh, shapes too big. Uh, so maximum supported size on consoles. So again, it's saying that the, the shaders are too big. Uh, shapes are just too big. Shapes too big. So you got a couple errors with the shapes, uh, which I could see. Uh, the game is clearly built uh, way more detailed than I guess the game really wants to render. Uh, that wasn't there earlier when I first looked at it, but now it is. Now that I reloaded my save game, there it is. So there, we do have a few issues with the log. I'd like to be upfront and honest with you and show you what's going on. Uh, also, it says invalid attacher joint index five for vehicle cylinder. I'm not sure what that means, but that is the log. A few issues with it, but again, it's still beautiful. It's fun to look at. And if you like trucks, this might be something for you because it has tons and tons of options. Let me read the description by Diesel Divisions. Customs. This is a 1970 Ford F-250. Uh, the Here it is, our first Ford release. Uh, the bump side base model was released to public by Expendables Modding and FS-19. It was converted and reworked on Blender to separate parts and create animations, details, and tweaks. Frame by Expendables Modding with many adjustments and add-ons to it. Features include a Cummins 24V 5.9 with NV45 100 five speed manual transmission using IRL gear ratios, doors, windows, hood, and tailgate animations, stock and custom lighting, front and grill options, suspension add ons, four side steps is optional, front and rear bumper options, bed add on options, two tone side trim options, side mirror options, stock and lifted suspensions, custom dashboard lights with functional tuner. Everything color changeable, exhaust options, adjustable back hitch and goose stick options, interior options, seat CB radio, etc. Snowplow mount, eight wheel configurations, and much, much more. This mod contains parts exclusively from DDC and other parts used are public with credits to the respective authors. All right. Quite a mouthful there, that's for sure. Now, let's just get it. Let's just look at the mod itself, right? This is it. This is a Ford. This is the stock standard version uh, that you would buy. No change to the options. This is what it looks like. It's the Ford F-250 1970. This one I've kind of modded out quite a bit. All of these are options. Um, yeah, even comes with the Dr. Pepper. Uh, all this stuff are options that you can actually put on the truck. This is another one that I kind of built out a little bit different. It's got the running boards. A little bit fatter tires, you know, camper top, all that stuff. So just some different options. Uh, they're, they're going to be endless. So let's jump in the shop and take a look at it. Let's go. So we're going to go down here to cars. Right here it is. Diesel Customs. Uh, base price of $21,200. It is a, under the Lizard brand. 
And uh, there we go, loads in. That is your base game truck, that one we already bought. So let's go through each options. We got attachers, stock hitch, bulletproof hitch, and gooseneck. See right here. So we've got, you can actually do a gooseneck. Uh, stock hitch plus gooseneck, a bulletproof hitch, and back to the stop hitch. So let's, let's put a stock hitch with the, let's actually do a bulletproof hitch with a gooseneck on this one. Stock lights, your standard headlights right there. It also has stock lights and roof lights, custom lights, custom lights and custom roof lights. Those are actually a little bit different looking. And then back to stock lights. So let's just let's just do custom all the way, custom lights and roof lights. So right here you can put a you can put a plow mount. And over on his Facebook page, there actually is a link to a snow plow that'll attach to that. So you, again, you can find that on his Facebook page. Uh, we're going to go stock, and then you can do, do mud flaps. Do mud flaps go up right here. Uh, stock plow mud flaps. Then you have different front grills, like there's a 1971 front grill. You can do the 71 grill plus mud flaps. Let's, let's keep going through it. And then there's also a custom grill mud flaps. So we'll do the 71 grill with mud flaps. Suspension add-ons. This is where it gets quite interesting. Uh, you have track bars, stab bars, Fox steering shocks. You can actually see the steering shocks on the front there. You can see these track bars. And then as for the stab bars, I don't know what things are. So uh, you can put just a rear track bar, you can put dual track bars, stab bars, which I'm assuming are right here. I can't see them. Once you get under there, you can. Box steering shocks, all that good stuff. But just because we want to, let's just put them all on there. Because why not? We have them. Uh, as for tri trims, you have just a two-tone, uh, no trim, just solid, pretty much a solid. Bottom side trim, there's like a chrome trim that runs along the bottom. Top side trim, both trims, and then also a two-tone. Bottom side trims, both trims. I mean, so you can you can kind of pimp this out however you want. Bed add-ons. You can throw a spare tire at the back if you want to. You can put in a weather guard box. You can put on a magnum rack. Put on a magnum rack and a box. You can put a roll bar on that. Which is let's do a roll bar. Kind of fun. Put a camper shell, topper, none. Spare tire. Let's just do this one. Let's go with the magnum in the toolbox on that. Bumpers stock, we got stock bumpers, or you can go with a LED bar on the front, full bar, camel front, camel rear, got the, the little camel rear plus bull bar, camel rear plus LED bar, just again, all the different options, camel trophy, that stuff, and then back to stock. Let's just do, Throw a bull, let's throw a bull bar. Why not? Let's just do it. Uh, again, different mirror options. You have stock mirrors. You have stock mirrors and bully side steps. You can see the little side steps right here. You have aluminum steps with stock mirror. You have stock mirrors and running boards. Uh, you got stock mirrors plus AMP research power strips, which I don't even, are power steps. Those actually fold out when you open the door. We'll look at, we'll actually do those and so look at them. Light duty mirrors with all the same options. So you have light duty or uh, or um, standard mirrors. Let's do the stock mirrors with the power out running board. We want just standard run. Let's just do the let's just the ones that unfold. You can do with bench seats, different seat options. You got bench seats, bench seats with a CB. There's our little antenna. Bench seats with a gun rack. That's right, we can load up and arm that bad boy. Bench seats with CB and a gun rack. Or you can do with bucket seats with a wooden console in the middle. Um, it's just loaded all the way out. Wooden console, bucket seats, CB in the middle, all that stuff. Now, this is where I've run into an issue. This standard engine, the 5.924 Valve Cummins, this engine does not work in automatic. There's no way, I, I've tried multiple setups when you have this engine selected, you you have to use a manual shifting in the game. So if you want automatic, you actually have to pick the uh, the edge plus compound, which I'm not even sure what that is. But those are your only two engine options. 
One of them's 310 horsepower, the other one's 1600, 615 horsepower. But I, we're gonna go with the 615 because I wanna show you. So there's also stocks, you can stickers. Uh, there's like a coming sticker, there's a bumper sticker. And then there's different exhausts. So these are stock exhausts, thank a farmer. This is MBR, MBRP exhaust. And then back to stock. So let's just do with the, that with both the stickers because why not? Wheel setup. This is where it starts getting very interesting. You can go with the standard wheel or rancher. Now we're now we're gonna lift it a little bit. Got a little off-road, right? Just a little off-road. Oh, it doesn't stop there. Got off-road with spacers. It's getting high up. Got a rancher plus the 35s BFG. Got a black rhino and Yokohama G Lander. 39 BFGs. <laughs> MT37s BFGs. And then TIS 548 plus Nitos. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous. And back down to standard. Let's go with uh I like this. I like this setup right here. Pretty cool. As for color options, you name it, we have it. I mean, there's all different kinds of color options. You can Design to your heart's content. You can go as crazy as you want to go. Uh, trim, you can, same with the trim. Like if you want black chrome, instead of like standard chrome, you can go with black chrome trim, man. You can go the stripe. Let's slap this stripe down and uh, do that one in Linex. There you go. I don't know if that looks good. Bumpers and grill, you go chrome, Linex, black. Let's just go, we're gonna black chrome this whole thing out. Actually, let's do this one and do carbon black, do onyx black, binex black. That actually looks pretty, pretty tight right there. Rim color, again, all the same. You name it, you can, you can do whatever you want with this thing. You can make it look as ugly and as cool as you want. And of course, your standard license plates right here. And okay. And then you can slap a license plate on it somewhere. Uh oh, I did. I Back only. There you go. You slap a license plate on it. So fully kitted out. We're looking at $52,760. So hit buy. And there is the truck that we just built. Here it is. Kind of ugly. But that is our, 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 our Ford 1970 Ford F. 250 in all of its glory. Now let's take a look at it real quick as it functions. I will open, show you. It has all different kinds. Of course, the rear tailgate will come down like so. And then if you hit Z, you can actually open up the hood like so. Close that down. You can open each one of, you have to start the engine to open the doors. And you can see right here, when we open the door, you can roll up and down, up and down the window. Woohoo! You can open and close the door, and then you can see our little tailgate steps out. You can slide the gooseneck hitch. You can open that door, roll down that window. I mean, all different kinds of options there. So let's close up our doors. Close up our doors. You can see the dome light turns on when your doors are open. Pretty cool. Pretty neat little touches. I think it's pretty cool. Now let's jump in cab real quick. You can see we got all different kinds of lights light up. I mean the dashboard works. You have animations, pedals, gear shifting. I mean, it's a very, very detailed, detailed model. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool, man. Uh, like I said, open and close the door inside. You have animations rolling this up. So, very, very nicely done model. Very nicely done. Turn all of our lights on. Like I said, this, this bad boy is 610 horses of, of power. You take this, this old girl mud right here. I mean, she's got a top speed of 130. This thing is so cool! 
Again, like I said, it's a great mod. It has a few issues. Look at the forward in black. That looks good. And again, if you if you like trucks, if you like fun stuff, uh, if you just want to goof around, you can do that. Or you can go as old school as you want. And you can see our little red truck there. All kinds of old school. Now, I think this is supposed to have independent suspension. By independent suspension, I mean... I just gotta... I gotta find a place where I can do it. Like, each wheel is supposed to have in work independently. And you can kind of see it there, but... Let's see if I can... See if I can get this to work. I've been talking. I've been talking long enough about this thing. All right, go back here. A little, little place we can kind of do some off-roading here. You can see. See how the again. It's not a very good showing. The suspension looks really cool under there. Look, it's just there's so much going on. Very cool indeed. Just say if you've got some pretty neat terrain changes, it's gonna it's gonna do some pretty neat stuff. I'm not getting it to work because I really don't have something I can drive up on. Just some neat. It's just something to check out. And all that stuff. That's just so cool under there. Alright. Yeah, you can you can kinda pimp this bad boy out however you want. And not have any problems. So that's as you can see we got we got working beacon lights, we got flasher lights, we got all that stuff. Now, what I was gonna show you is here's another version that I've kinda well, just a get different, but this one right here, this is the standard one, right? This is the Lizard 5.924 Cummins. This is the base engine. Let me show you what happens. It does not change. Now, I have no other mods installed. Now, you can do it manually. Okay. But I'm doing this manually. Okay. With the plus and minus on the keyboard. Your number pad plus and minus, you can change use. Let me show you, I, I don't have it set to manual. Like if you go into a vehicle control, automatic engine start is off. This one, that view, right here. So direction change is automatic. Your shift mode is automatic, not manual. So again, it, it will go backwards without shifting. It'll go forwards, but it won't change through the gears. It's just stuck in first gear. You can do it manually, but, but you, it will not do it automatically. It'll down gear. See, yeah, see it down shifts, but it won't up shifts. Yeah. So if you're running into that problem, switch your engine to the other version there must be something something wrong with the setup and hopefully uh hopefully we'll get an update this mod was released on the 26th of february so it's a very new mod it's only been out a few days so yeah head on over to diesel division customs on facebook that's right diesel division customs on facebook check out this sweet sweet mod this thing's very nicely done now, it's a big download. It's 290 megs. It's a beast of a download, but it has a lot of detail. Uh, it's very, very nicely done. It's a beautiful, beautiful mod for FS22. I mean, this thing is, it's just gorgeous. It's very, very nicely done. Um, so many neat ways to build the truck however you want. It's uh, yeah, definitely worth checking out. All right, I'm done stumbling about my words. Diesel Division Customs 1970 F4250. Another wonderful find over on Facebook. I'm going to keep those coming as I find some neat stuff over there. I will show it to all of you. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't know about it and you liked the truck, give me a thumbs up. Uh, yeah. And until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching.
See you later. Bye-bye!